Now, any of the Guardian's deaths will be tough to stomach without a doubt, but this one would be one that would cause fans to absolutely riot. Here are some shockingly good and sad things hidden in the new Guardians of the Galaxy 3 trailer. If you could drop a like on this video, it helps a lot, so I'd really appreciate it, but if you get to the end of the video and it turns out you didn't actually like it, then feel free to turn your like into a dislike, but if you could drop a like right now, it would help a ton. So it seemed to almost come out of the blue, but of course we finally got a trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and well, there was a lot to dissect from the trailer, so let's dive into it. At first glance, we got to see the Guardians rocking a new suit that is akin to the first suits worn by the original team in the comics, which is awesome. Now at the front and center of the new uniforms are what appears to be a mix of the Ravagers symbol and the Nova Corp symbol. Now, it's interesting to get a trailer for this movie not so long after the release of the holiday special on Disney+, Plus, as we know that the Guardians have purchased the planet Nowhere from Tanlair, aka The Collector, and we see that some of the film will also occur here and will seemingly take place after the holiday antics of Mantis and Drax. Now, we also have our first look at Chuck Woody and Iwo G's high evolutionary character who will serve as one of the movie's villains. In addition, we have a few seconds to bask in the glory of Will's Adam Warlock, who was teased in a post credit scene following Guardians Volume 2. Now, the two characters could potentially serve as parallel villains during the film, which would make complete sense, creating a big threat to the Guardians. But we could also see the two connect, as the High Evolutionary is known for his genius, craft, and ability, and we know that Adam is a creation of the Sovereign. Now, just when we fought the emotional trauma of the the MCU was done for the year, well, Guardians 3 came along and clearly tugged at the heartstrings even more by teasing more to come. Starting with delving into Rocket's backstory, now we are finally going to get the sinister beginnings of his character, and many shots included in the trailer are actually signifying that he could be one of, or a one of many, characters to die. Now, any of the Guardians' deaths will, without a single doubt, be tough to just accept, and ultimately tough to stomach as a whole, but his in particular would be one that would absolutely cause fans to riot. We also have hints at the Star-Lord, and ultimately how he could be one to perish because of one shot where Nebula is carrying his body. Now, Marvel would would never reveal something as big as that in a trailer, but it's interesting to point out as James Gunn has teased slash stated that this will actually be the last time we see this Guardians team together. We also have our first look at Gamora since her departure in Endgame plus her absence in the holiday special. Now she looks like she has been through the Ranger since the events of Endgame and closing out the breakdown of this action packed trailer, one of the things that I have to say I'm personally excited to see is the development of Mantis' character. Now, with that bombshell reveal of her being Peter's sister, plus her incredible show-stopping performance from the holiday special, we know that she could see more front and center action. We also see, on a closing note, that Groot, in his new body, ultimately whip out multiple arms and shoot a bunch of guns in a scene that is reminiscent of the clean escape scene from the first Guardians movie. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy is is sure to be a non-stop joyride when it releases on May 5th, 2023, and I'm excited to see how Marvel closes out this trilogy to continue building off the MCU's best family. Now, James Gunn even expressed his passion for what could be the final MCU project in a tweet posted immediately after the trailer, which stated the following. On May 5th, we fulfill the promise, the competition of the trilogy, the end of an era. The last ride, we are Groot. What do you think about this stuff? Let me know in the comment section below. And how would you deal with one of the characters actually dying being Rocket? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.